Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Last time, we crossed the perilous Tihi Valley with the princess named Peach and arrived here in the adorably named Little Fungi Town. Oh, it's so fun to say. But yes, this time, we're going to be enjoying our time in Little Fungi Town, going around and just seeing what there is here for us. How about we start off with the item shop? And I gotta say, the interior of the buildings in Little Fungi Town. They look really nice. You have kind of that mushroom aesthetic going on, but here you have like a TV and framed picture and some mushrooms and a window. And this is just the item shop. I mean, you have all these goods on the tables. It's a lot more lively than Bean Bean Castle Town, I have to say. But speaking of that area, we have the Beanish. Sometimes I get such a craving for the shop's ultra mushrooms that I brave the many dangers of the desert just to come buy them. I'm crazy like that. This is why Amazon Prime needs to come to his area. <laughs> the Ultra Mushroom sold here are the, of the very finest quality. There are local specialty that are only sold here, I think. Thanks for that, Chief Booker. How about we check out the uh, inventory since, uh, yeah, we're in Little Fungi Town. They're going to have some new items. It'd be a waste if we didn't buy a mushroom like he was saying. Apparently, it's a touristy thing. Speaking of which, they sell Ultra Mushrooms. These recover 120 HP. Why you would ever need a health recovery item of this magnitude, I don't know. People have been saying that my stats are really high for this point in the game because of the good equipment that I've been getting and how lucky I've been getting on those roulettes, and I don't need that much. Even, like, really late game, I really don't. All the other items we've seen before, but I just thought I would acknowledge this is here. 77 coins really isn't worth it to me. I might as well spend 33 on some super mushrooms, but... Since, like he said, it would be a waste if we left this place without buying a mushroom, let's buy one. Sure. The super mushroom will definitely come in handy, I can tell. <laughs> let's go ahead and leave. Come again. I don't know if we ever will, but hey, he really had a nice, adorable face. Let's talk to you. Well, if it isn't Mario and Luigi. Mario, rumors of your deeds have reached even my ears. And you, Luigi, always looking after the home front. Well done. How else would you expect a thug toad to sound? I think that's pretty accurate. <laughs> Talk to this kid. Oh, hey, Mario and Luigi. <laughs> and again with the pauses. Yeah, we guarded Princess Peach all the way here. My dad could learn a thing or two from you guys. Did, does your mom get kidnapped on a daily basis or something like that? Let's talk to the younger one. Lately, my dad's been spending all of his time hanging around the new game arcade. And boy, my mom is mad, which would be funny, except she goes and takes it out on me. That is really dark. This place is like the happiest place on Earth. All these colors and... Really flashy building interiors and this adorable remix of the Mario theme, and then just implied child abuse. That's really not cool, buddy. Uh, you might want to get your life straightened out, and you might want to talk to your wife about that. Let's, uh, let's talk to you. Go to the Gafaha Ruins soon, or what? What? That place is dangerous. We can't go there. Are you out of your tiny little mind? Well, I guess he is a little toad, so I guess he'd be really high-pitched. He'd just be like, What? There are dangerous little guys there! We can't go there! Are you crazy or what? Okay. I won't overdo it with the toad voice, even though this is a town of entirely toads and we haven't heard it in a while. Just because I can tell that it gets grating, and it does hurt my throat a little bit, too. Yeah, we rode a lift. Said it was made long ago by the ancient soybean civilization. Second time we're hearing about those guys. Uh, right here, though, we have an equipment shop. And look at how flashy this place is. You know, the other building interiors were nice. Dude. D dude? <laughs> what the heck? What kind of accent is that? Dude? <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, yeah, Authentic Mushroom Kingdom Goods. Implying that we would have gotten better equipment if we just went shopping before leaving for the dang Bean Bean Kingdom. But no, Toadsworth only gave us 100 coins for such a thing. Let's shop. This guy, if I recall, has some really great equipment. We have Shroom Pants. That lowers our defense a bit, but it gives us the win mushroom status. That makes it so that you have a higher chance of winning mushrooms as an item drop at the end of a battle. I might get that, I'm not sure, uh, 10 defense, I've been getting hurt by attacks quite a bit in Teehee Valley, so maybe I won't sacrifice that. Shroom Bells give a bigger defense increase, but have no additional effect, so I probably don't want to get those for Luigi, because I like the wool trousers, but this is really gruesome. They are apparently made from Koopa shells, as it says right there. Could you imagine Koopas talking in heaven about how they died, one being like, I was defeated by Mario, another one being, I was turned into his pants. <laughs> Shroom Slacks. Lucky Mushroom. More mushrooms make these luckier. That means that you get a higher stash stat buff depending on how many mushrooms are in, in your inventory. This includes mushrooms, super mushrooms, ultra mushrooms, and any item that has mushroom in its name. That is an item and not a piece of equipment. This is a really broken item. 
Or at least it can be. It's not really broken right now because we don't have all that many mushrooms in our inventory, but trust me on this, w when it's late game and we've accumulated tons of unused mushrooms over the course of our adventure, it will be crazy. Also, you see how low these prices are? This was something I neglected to mention in Bean Bean Castle Town. That cobalt necktie that I have on Luigi right now gives me 48% off. You want to equip that cobalt necktie every time that you go shopping because look at how much you save. I mean, money's not exactly tight in this game, so I guess you don't really need to, and I'm not really torn up over forgetting to do it when I was in Castletown last time, but still, I needed to draw attention to that. The mush badge, more mushrooms means more damage. This thing is crazy. Um, I don't know how much more of a buff it would give us. I think I will buy one for now just to kind of see it. Um, it does lower my stats by quite a bit, and it's not as good as what I've had for quite some time now, but we'll give it a go. The Mary Louis badge does not say, well, I guess Mari. Uh, Mary's a name. Never mind. This is a BP auto gain, but it lowers your stats a fair amount from what we had before, similar to other things. Same stats as the Mush badge. And then the Muscle badge increases counterattack power and gives a slight increase to power. I guess if, um... I don't get that much of a buff from the Mush Badge. I might as well buy the mu Muscle Badge and just not equip it for right now, just to kind of see how things are next time we get into a fight. Also, one thing that I did not bring attention to last time because we were ending off the video right as we felled Trunkle. I want to talk about the badge that we got from him. That is, where is it? The Lucky Bros Badge. This increases the chances of getting lucky hits. So it's basically an artificial bros increase. It gives you increased power, but again, decreases the BP, as you would guess. I think I'm going to equip this for the time being to Mario, but just saying, we're not going to be doing a whole lot of fighting for a while, so, well, hmm. I'm trying to think about this. I don't want to spoil things that are going to happen. Let's give him Bros Rock again. I'll equip that a little bit later. I promise I won't forget. It's just that... We're not exactly going to be doing much fighting this video because we arrived in a new town and we're checking out the new stuff in it. You get the drill. You know how this goes. Down here under our feet is a giant, huge, really big, great uh, mushroom known as the Great Mountain Mushroom. Just how a mushroom could ever get so very big remains a mystery. Well, that explains why the terrain here is so different from the desert. Then again, how would a plant be able to flourish that much in the desert? I mean, I know there's some pretty big cactuses, but, or cacti, but still. Uh, this couple right here, these hoo -hoo, or uh, hooligans, excuse me, uh, they are, I believe, the same couple that we saw in Hoo Hoo Village, I think? Oh, that guy is such a jerk. He knows I can't jump way over there, so he always runs off that way. Real mature, jerk. Oh, man, that girl scares me. This is the best place to get a little distance from her. Without this place, I'd be... What would you be, huh? Would you be mush? <laughs> okay, couldn't resist. You might think you can high jump up to this yellow pipe and see where it goes, but you can't. You're going to want to remember that for a little bit later. What's over here? A lot of jumps. Another one of these guys. I don't like the view from here, guys. Isn't it lovely? It's a little bit lonely, but I do think it is lovely. And this area is completely pointless. Not for sure there'd be a hidden block up here, which is why I came around here, yet nothing. Okay. Uh, sure. I have a waste of time there. Then again, it is good that you have a few red herrings in a game and not every area that looks like it should have a collectible does because otherwise it'd get boring, it'd get predictable. Speaking of boring and predictable, I knew there was gonna be a hidden item here. Who bean? I can't get down there. Well, the more who beans, the better. They're always welcome additions to my inventory and I'm always happy to have them around. So, um, how about we go off this way now? It's quite the commotion over there. I wonder what it is. Let's find out. This guy's hopping around. Invents! Invents! Invents a shroom! This unique mushroom is a mixture of one-up mushrooms and stars from the Mushroom Kingdom! Come now, don't you crave an Invents a shroom? Play to win! See inside for more details. No purchase necessary, many will interfere with it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, this guy is marketing an Invents a shroom very aggressively, but you know what? We don't want to listen to his aggressive marketing and be a lowly consumer sheep. We want to high jump onto this ledge here and get into this warp pipe. This is the warp pipe to Little Fungi Town. Now we can come back here anytime, of course. You want to get this warp pipe! Do not go any further. Do not go into that arcade. Do not do anything else until you get this warp pipe, because you will not be able to easily get that warp pipe again. From here on out, you will have to walk through Tihi Valley once again if you want any chance of getting that. It's crazy, it sucks, and yeah. I just wanted to make you aware of that. Oh, sorry, I had to catch my breath there for a moment. That was ridiculous. Now, down here is a bit of a little detail. 
Psycho Kamek has become obsessed with his hobby, hypnosis. In fact, he now brings someone in every day and attempts his weird little hypnotisms. How about we go in and see him? I don't know if this is meant to be the same character as Kamek per se, or if it's like a bean beanie counterpart, or beanish counterpart maybe? Let's talk to him. You are slowly becoming more and more mushroomy. You are becoming a toad. I am already a toad. Wow, he even looks the part to us and we just walked in without even being actively hypnotized. That's some really good hypnosis. And ooh, a relay block. Let's see how well we can do on this. Seventeen. Wait, what, 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 what? I think I jumped twice so fast that Mario hit the block twice, and the game thought I was hitting it as Luigi, so it moved it back towards Mario, making it go back past him. Well, that was a thing that just happened. How about we go into that video arcade now? That place where that man has been gambling away his life savings and causing marital issues for himself and, well, I guess for his children it wouldn't be marital issues. But, yeah. Welcome! What do you say? You want to play? Give it a try! If you get a super nice score, I'll give you a free Invinci Shroom! How about we try doing that? Now! Hmm, this game cheats! I was shielding! SHIELDING! No, I did not press that! <laughs> the developers know the struggle all too well. As much as this all looks optional, this is required. Don't be like my childhood self that thought that this arcade was an optional side game and got stuck in Little Fungi Town for hours. With that done, if you are a big Nintendo fan, specifically of the Mario RPGs, and you have never played this game before. I highly suggest you do some deep breathing exercises right now and have a change of pants on hand, because once we go in here, look who it is! For all of you that I have seen all over the internet saying that Geno never made a return and never appeared in another video game after Super Mario RPG, guess what? He did! He is right here before my face giving me the tutorial for this minigame! We need to score 200 points, beat it to get an exquisite prize. As exquisite as Gino making a cameo in another video game. Press start to view the rules. Does, does that mean I get to talk to Gino again if I view the rules? No, I don't. Well, this is Wintendo, our next minigame. And this is one of my favorites, personally. There's surprisingly a lot of depth to it. You use the A and B buttons to kind of like weight down this platform. And what you want to do is get the bomb into that piranha plant's mouth. That'll cause it to close and the other one to open, and you just want to keep juggling, alternating so the bomb goes into the mouth of the one that is lower, so that when it raises back up, you have another piranha plant that is lower ready for you to knock the stuff into. It sounds really complicated, but you can see what I'm doing to understand me. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, I screwed up my pattern there, but uh, no matter. We have 40 seconds left on the clock, and I've almost beaten the score that it's asking me to beat. In fact, maybe I should try to double it. That sounds really good, but yeah. Um, I could believe you breaking through all your friends' walls like the Kool-Aid man to, like, tell them that Gino appeared in another game. Because, yeah, while it's not a meaningful role, I'm not defending that at all. It's just the fact that Gino is in this game and people always say that he never came back, you can kind of imagine my frustration. <laughs> well, uh, okay, good. I didn't get quite a lot in there, though, but we'll run with it. Oh, good. I barely got that. And then not quite. Come on, can I double it? Can I double it? I'm at 350, 360, 370, 380, 403, 422, 433. Not bad. Not like the best score ever, but we get this EG now again, and that's the important thing. Congratulations. It's a new high score. And I know it's not really Gino, I know it's just another doll that looks like Gino, but still. Throw the Super Mario RPG fans a bone, no one ever does on the corporate side of things. Alrighty, here we go! We receive the Invinci Shroom! And Mario just pops the whole thing in his mouth without offering poor Luigi a bite. Yum yum, isn't it delectable? I smell a lawsuit incoming. Ugh. At least Mario picked some really good sad music. He didn't pick the Bean Bean Castle Town Destroyed theme. How, how is he? Hmm, green who? You? Yes, discoloration in the face? These symptoms seem to indicate the blorbs? No! Bean Fever! No mistaking it! I love how huge the text is there. They try to be dramatic like a hospital drama. Illness affects many travelers who aren't used to the food in this region. Well, well then, can you cure him? 
Had I the right remedy, I could cure him, but sadly, I'm all out. At this rate, in three days... He'll be a bean! Wow. Uh, are you saying that all the beans we've been collecting throughout this entire adventure to brew coffee out of could have very well been dead tourists without us even knowing it? That's gruesome to say the least. He's saying we need to go to Gafaha Ruins. Deep within Gafaha Ruins, there grows crabby grass, an antidote to this fever. Luigi, will you go to Gafaha Ruins? Oh, yeah. On a side note, according to recent research, Frightful monsters such as these have settled in Gavaha Ruins. It's like Andros's cousin that shoots fireballs out of its mouth but has much angrier looking eyes and a bald head. Rumors say that those who have been attacked by these monsters have had their bones broken, their flesh stripped, and all their blood sucked out. Yuck. <laughs> well, that's what they say. <laughs> oh my, that's quite frightful. <laughs> Don't you mean it's quite full? <laughs> okay. Uh, you're Luigi. You'll do fi just fine there, surely. Uh, right, Luigi? You'll be fine, won't you? This is for Mario's sake, right? You will go! Yes! <laughs> One of the best Princess Peach moments, in my opinion, in any Mario game. She usually has more personality in the RPGs. So, uh, sheer will is making his cowardly bones move. Luigi, your only hope. Please come back safely. We'll be waiting for you. Let's, uh, let's talk to them. They're just kind of saying the same thing. Uh, Krabby Grass said, okay, yeah. Well, uh, Super Mario Brotherly Love must not be all that strong because, yeah, Luigi can't jump. He can't do anything. I can't change his actions or use any of them. Well, I can change his actions. I just can't use any of them. I can make him say the action names, though. Which, that's a plus that he says thunder. Mr. Luigi, is something the matter? Uh, yeah, he really has to go to the bathroom, or he's just crapping down his pants. <laughs> really, it does kind of look like that, the way that he's shaking and moving. Did a splendid job handling that Cacoletta problem. Thank you. Uh, sweating about ties between the Mushroom Beaming Kingdoms, it would be terrible if relations got soured. You mean relations aren't soured already, considering how Cacoletta's been able to move freely about the countries? Because there is no dang airport security in your entire country? Just saying? Hmm? <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, we can no longer go back in that building ever again because Luigi cannot jump. Mushroom maintenance is resp a responsibility of the residents. I didn't know mushrooms required so much maintenance, or really any for that matter. But I guess you gotta keep them looking shiny and pretty and not getting blown away in the rain and stuff like that. Well, we walked down this bridge. What do you have to say? Oh, okay, never mind. Well, we fall down another ledge, and then another. And then another. We can't ever go back there if we can't jump anymore, so I guess we're just stuck down here. Then we fall down this ledge and oh no, we've reached a dead end. I sure hope there's a solution to our problem inside of this house, otherwise we are stuck down here for the rest of our life. We won't be able to ever do anything again if there was not something put here. Oh, are you interested in my hypnotic abilities? Oh dear, you look so nervous. Horrified even. Why don't you start by taking a long, deep breath? How is that? You feel more relaxed now, don't you? Say, you're dressed strikingly like Mario, aren't you? Are you infatuated with Mario, the superstar? Well, in that case, I shall turn you into Mario. It makes sense to be infatuated with him. I mean, after all, he was following him in here when he was in here briefly a moment ago. Close your eyes. You shall now become Mario. Yes, embrace it. Believe. With his incredible jump, you will face the onslaught of evil. The greatest superstar of the Mushroom Kingdom, Mario, is you! See, aren't you feeling a tad more Mario-esque? You are becoming Mario. You are turning into Mario. More and more Mario. You are almost Mario. Quite nearly Mario. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, with a spell consisting of triangle, circle, and square instead of A, B, X, and Y, you gotta wonder if he's gonna think he's Mario and not Ratchet or Jack or some other PlayStation person. Well, let's see what the damage is. Well. <laughs> <laughs> well, are your hat and clothes not red? That's all it took for him to be convinced that he's Mario. I gotta say, him having Mario's voice is also a nice touch. Now, I want to go on into this place that was giving out these invincible shrooms. This guy is still marketing them out here and saying to play to win. Let's see what they have to say for themselves, poisoning the superstar of the Mushroom Kingdom like that. Or at least one of them. Well, what do you say? Would you like to play? Give it a try. Oh, wow. He's still saying to get, he give us an Invincible Shroom. Well, if we go up here to the game... Oh, I'm still adjusting things. Please wait a bit longer. 
Yeah, they thought that game could use a little bit of fine-tuning. Uh, they don't seem to really give a crap that they poisoned Mario, of all people. They just seem to be like, oh, well, that game must be too easy if they were able to get a score of over 430 on it. We got to adjust that. Man, that's not important. Nobody's worried about a lawsuit. Never. Well, since we've gone around and seen all of Little Fungi Town... Ooh, wait a minute. I don't want to end things off quite yet. There is something over by the Mushroom Embassy that I want to do really quick. I want to show this because it's really important. You thought I was ending off the video, but I'm gradually sending more Scottish with every bit of stalling that I'm doing. Okay. It is that if we jump opposite to the same... Or is it here? Shoot. Can I not do this without a high jump? I don't think I can. Okay. Um, but... <laughs> You can grab onto that flagpole. I never knew that. That's a nice little detail. I wanted to show that if you talk to Peach right here, she says something really funny. Luigi, you're our only hope. Please come back safely. I'm waiting for you. Wow, Luigi, your face looks so much more manly. <laughs> this whole thinking these Mario thing is working out pretty well for him when it comes to brownie points with the princess. Now, um, this is a random block. I saw this before. What happens if I hit it with only one bro? Oh, thanks! That's a real nice game! I hit it once, and it immediately asks for Mario! Here I was thinking maybe I could show something funny or that something interesting would happen because I only had one of the bros, but no! Alright, I'm gonna go into that room and get Mario's unconscious body and just start hucking it up at that block. Or not, because if I exit the room, this is just gonna reset. Uh, I am not going to hit the bros block in this room because I'm certain I know what'll happen now that I saw what happened with this thing. Really nice game. That was a troll move. Wow. So, that is everything I wanted to take care of. We are minus a bro. Great progress for an episode, isn't it? <laughs> and being minus a bro is the thing that I'm defaulting to. But we got to see all of Little Fungi Town, and even if some bad things happened, it's still a little place with an adorable, fun-to-say name. Next time on Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, we're going to be exiting Little Fungi Town and going off to the Gafaha Ruins with our newfound false bravery. See you guys then.